and etcetera hai na here uh, the ratio if you take it is fixed it is constant correct uh, similarly uh, uh, this uh, other uh, sequence also you can take uh, 3 9 27 and etc and many such sequences you can form in short we call it gp uh, a general geometric progression if you you know arithmetic progression in general you write like this a a plus d a plus 2d etc so there must be some general geometric progression also yes there is a general way of writing a geometric progression a general gp can be written as if i start with fixed number a first term a and if i multiply the ratio of term 2 upon term 1 suppose it is r then r square a r cube a r raised to power 4 and etc etc so this can be a way of writing a gp geometric progression and as we saw term n in arithmetic progression and sn some of first n terms here also such formula are there uh, it's general term term n if you see each term uh, comprising of two factors uh, a and a factor containing r terms so here also a into r raised to power something what should be the power of r uh, here r is nothing means r to power 0 here r to power 1 in term 2 r to power 1 in term 3 and 1 2 3 this is term 3 in term 3 r to power 2 in term 4 r to power 3 so one less so similarly in another term r raised to power n minus 1 it should be this is term n formula and uh, sum of first n terms this this gives you a uh, sum of first n terms Sn is given by a r raised to the power n minus one whole upon r minus one. While discussing principle of mathematical induction, one question was there in which uh, this formula was appearing. Yeah. If it, are it, it is, is it visible to you? Yeah. Otherwise, here I am writing Sn is a r raised to the power n minus one whole upon r minus one. or minus if you can uh, you can take a common and you can cancel right suppose r is lesser than 1 then instead of this this can be used right both are same thing any one you can anything you can write this is uh, now <coughs> as there is the concept of arithmetic mean between two numbers similarly there is a concept of geometric mean say three numbers a b c are in gp then what will happen students if they are in gp that yes yes b square equal to ac kahan se aaya by Com equating the ratio b upon a, then b upon a will be equal to c upon b. You know, term two upon term one will be same as term three upon term two. Ratio will be same as per the definition of uh, geometric progression. And if you cross multiply, if you cross multiply, you will get b square equal to c a. Beautiful equation we got. Simple to learn to understand. And b value b will be equal to root c a. This is called as geometric mean. gm geometric mean geometric mean between a and c so b equal to root c a in general any two numbers are there suppose 10 and 15 their gm you have to find this will be root 10 into 15 so to find geometric mean the way is multiply them and take the square root this is um and similarly not only not necessarily three numbers should be there Bet between a and c any number of numbers can be inserted and they all will be called as geometric mean between a and c if th that sequence becomes a gp okay uh, one more note that consider this series 
s equal to a plus a r plus a r square plus dot 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 dot. This friends, if r is bigger than one, this sum, the each term will start becoming big and bigger and bigger and even bigger, and this entire sum will become infinity. If you take infinitely many terms, but if r value is less than one then you know this sum this each term will become smaller and smaller and smaller you know if r is less than one r square will be even lesser than one and similarly r cube and r raised to power four and all next coming terms will be very very small so although you take infinitely many terms but this series will have a particular sum finite sum so if magnitude r is less than 1 then uh, let me write here if magnitude r is less than 1 then sum of infinite terms of a GP is a finite quantity. Finite means a real number, a fixed real number, a finite quantity, measurable. And it is given by a formula. And that formula is S equals to A upon 1 minus R. This is the formula. How it, does it work? It was first term whole divided by 1 minus the common ratio. This is. And note that such GP is called as convergent GP. Such GP is called as convergent GP. Converge. You must have studied in your physics. Converging lens. Converging. Converse means coming, uh, being centered to a point. So this is fixed number. Divergent means moving towards infinity. So this is uh, one more thing, and then we shall move towards our exercise. Uh, that uh, which one is bigger? AM is bigger or GM is bigger? If I take two numbers, A and C, then uh, Obvious curiosity must be there that which one is bigger, AM or GM. You can take two numbers and you can calculate them. Uh, two and three, suppose you take, and uh, two plus three whole upon two will be AM. That you can find, and GM will be root of two into three, root six. Uh, then, can someone tell me which one is bigger? Hmm? Of course, I want a general relation. Let us try to prove. Can someone tell me which one is bigger, root 6 or 2.5? Uh, eh? hmm? Calculate karna pade. Aap kar lena, check kar lena. Main koi three numbers general le raun. Let a, B, C, or uh, so that it becomes perfect. Where? Eh? Ye kitna? Ha, root six kitna? Eh? One point four one four point three. Yeah, root three kitna hota? One point seven three two. One point seven. This up multiply kar sakte. Four four nine. Eh? 2.449. Huh, 2. Point something will come. Hai na? More terms you can find out. And a close relation over consa bada consa. But let us prove in general. Suppose A, B, C are three numbers. Are any three numbers? Then A M will be A plus C whole by 2. Uh, 
any two number any two numbers you take any two numbers you take a and b or any two numbers then am will be a plus b whole by 2 and gm will be root ac root ab so let us find a relation between them yeah we can find out you see that uh, am minus gm if i do it will be a plus b whole by 2 minus root ab and uh, if i take lcm it will be a plus b minus 2 root ab whole upon 2 you know and x plus y minus 2 xy ye kuch relation you know ye kuch familiar term lag raha hai hmm? can we create a bilkul root a minus root b ka whole square hai ye और इसको मैं ज्यादा आपको एक्सप्लेन नहीं करूंगा मुझे लग रहा है कि आपको ये दिख रहा होगा कि कैसे आया ये रूट ए माइनस रूट बी का होल स्क्वायर तो रूट ए माइनस रूट बी होल स्क्वायर होल अपॉन टू है ना एंड मुझे पता है कि होल स्क्वायर आर ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव ठीक है तो दिस इज ग्रेटर और इक्वल जीरो तो ए एम माइनस जी एम इज ग्रेटर और इक्वल जीरो इट मीन दैट ए एम इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर और इक्वल टू gm so this a popular this is a very very popular result known as am gm inequality uh, less such results are there which contains inequality that's why this is a beautiful relation and it uh, it is important for us we'll keep it remember uh, similarly uh, there is one more term harmonic mean wo bhi discuss kar lete hain otherwise wo chhoot hi jayega there is a one more concept there is a series first of all let us learn harmonic progression example se shuru karta hu aur aap pattern pick karna uh, can you pick the pattern students can someone tell me what is the pattern here Huh? Or one more example, if I take, can someone tell me what is the pattern here? In inverse terms are in AP, है ना? Correct. So. definition you can write this is such a progression hp is a progression whose whose inverse terms are in ap right are in ap and students as there is a concept of arithmetic mean geometric mean similarly there is a concept of harmonic mean let us understand that also so agar aapko yaad ho ki arithmetic mean mazio ke baad samjhane ke liye i took two numbers three numbers in fact and similarly uh, we worked for geometric mean also so for h harmonic also mean also will do the same let us assume three numbers harmonic mean let a b c are in hp hp matlab their inverse terms will be in ap it means that uh, then b is called as harmonic mean or hm harmonic mean of a and c okay let us get the value of b how to get that because they are in hp so their inverse terms must be in ap let's use this fact since a b c are in hp means that 1 upon a 1 upon b 1 upon c are in ap correct it means that uh Uh, twice of middle term will be equal to first and last term hai na 
Is this an AP concept? That if A, B, C are in AP, then what happens? Then 2B equal to A plus C. You have done it many times. So we have done use the same thing here. Now let us simplify. This will become C plus A upon A, C equal to 2 upon B. And from here, I can get the value of B. So B equal to 2 A, C whole upon A plus C. Right? This is HM between A and C. So HM formula is also ready here. Any two numbers are there whose HM harmonic mean suppose you have to find then what you have to do? You have to multiply that numbers then multiply with two then divided by some of those two numbers. We'll get HM between those two numbers. Now as there was um, uh, inequality that AM is always greater than or equal to GM. There is one more inequality that GM is always greater than or equal to HM. Let us write it note that AM is always greater than or equal to GM and this is always greater or equal to HM. So this is popular result, AM, GM, HM inequality. Uh, if numbers are A and B, then AM will become A plus B whole upon two, greater or equal to GM will become root AB, greater or equal to, and what should be the HM? The students, Ankit Jangit, what should be the HM? Hmm? HM between A and B? Huh. HM between A and B. This is the HM formula. So HM will be 2AB whole upon A plus B. Proof I am not discussing, leaving for you to prove this result. You can prove this result and you can uh, verify this result also. Uh, that's all. This was the theory part. The students, uh, every time when I'm asking the uh, assignment in Google Classroom, I expect the theory part also. That also, you please write. And please submit. Uh, I, in fact, I mention in black and white every time. Uh, my dears, now it is the time to solve our geometric progression exercise. So I request you all to be ready with your textbook. And let us see the first question, which is the exercise is completely based on geometric progression. Koshagra Vaishnav, will you read the next question? Question one of GP. 9.5, which exercise number? Uh, 9.3, right. Yes. Kushagra. Hmm. Hmm. I have to find 20th term. This is super simple. The formula of general term is Tn is equal to A r raised to power n minus 1. And this is a here is 5 by 2. What is R here, students? Super simple, visible. 1 by 2 is getting multiplied every time. So very easily you can find out R is half. This will be my answer. Or can you call it? Nth term will be call it. So nth term will be this. And this is simple. Uh, yes, Jyoti Meena, second question, what is that? Jyoti, Jyoti Meena. Jyoti, uh, what is second question? I have to find 12th term where 8th term is how much? 192 and R is given common ratio that is how much that is 2 uh, take the help of these two things given and uh, T8 that formula you can write uh, T8 is uh, A R to power 7 A R to power 7 equal to 192 which means here A into 2 raised to power 7 equal to 192 
Can someone tell me factorization of 192? 192 how much? Hmm? 192 is double of how much? 96. Hmm? 96 into 2. 16, 6, two. 2 raised to power 4 into 2 into 3 into 2. Uh, 2 to power 6 into 3. And here I get my A. A is, uh, A is 1, 2, 3 by 2 is this. Then term 12 can be calculated. A into R to power 11. Two to power ten is how much? Favorite number of computer science students? Huh? Two to power ten, how much? One zero two four. Uh, three thousand seventy two. This is simple. ये सब simple question है. एक simple question भी करने चाहिए. उससे सही रहता है. We have to solve all the question of exercise. So do not skip them, especially the people who uh, have understood the concept so well that they must be feeling bored. No, don't feel bored. You have to solve all the questions, right? Confidence you will get by in, uh, if you are, have completed all the questions. Let me ask someone from C section. Uh, Om Mahajan, will you read the next question? Third? Om Mahajan? Or Rohit Kumar Meena, any one of these two? Hmm? Oh, Mahajan is saying, sir, I am on PC, my dears. This reply I get many a times. I request you all again that if even if you are on personal computers, no problem arranging a simple mic or earphone and attaching it with computer and uh, creating a mic is not at all a difficult task for you people. You people are more intelligent than me in these things. Please arrange it. Karthik Verma or Chetan, any one of these two, will you read? So can I? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, what? What's the name? The fifth. Chetan. Chetan. Yes, please. R P Q N S. Should can you repeat? Chetan, can you repeat? Can you repeat? The fifth, eighth, and eleventh term hmm. of a GPR. Hmm. PQS. Okay. Show that hmm. Q square is equals to PS. Okay. Show that Q is square equal to PS. Because they are the terms of a GP. So let us assume the GP. Let us assume the GP. Let GP is A. A R, A R square, etc., etc., etc. Okay. Uh, the, this information is given. Let us analyze it. Let us analyze it. T five, and better if I write here itself. No, here I T five is P, means A R raised to power four equals to P. T eight is Q. It means A R to power seven is Q. And this means a r raised to power 10 is equal to s. And I have to prove q is square equal to ps. Begin with RHS. RHS will come automatically. Or both can be simplified by putting these two values. LHS is q is square. Or let's begin with RHS. RHS is ps. P means a r raised to power 4. And s means a r raised to power 10. It becomes a square r to power 14. So easy it is to prove that this is q square. Dekha apne? Main wahi kaam kar raha hoon, jo maine pishri exercise, AP exercise mein kiya tha. Ki given information ko maine mention kiya in black and white. And then to show statement I wrote. And then I thought that how to bring, bridge this gap from here to here. How to come? Right. Baki sab hamara mind apne aap humse karwa lega. Okay. 
तो फर्स्ट गेट द क्वेश्चन कि बात क्या हो रही है फर्स्ट इफ यू गेट द क्वेश्चन दैट विल बी द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टूल टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन रीड द क्वेश्चन राइट गिव एन स्टेटमेंट टू शो स्टेटमेंट एंड बाकी हम इतना तो आपको कैलिबर है ही कि आप समझ पाएंगे कि कैसे करें बाकी चीजें मैटर ऑफ प्रैक्टिस है आकाश पर से दिया आई कैन सी यू कैन यू रीड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फोर्थ आकाश आकाश देर इज नो आकाश क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्थ इज सो सिंपल आई कैन रीड अ फोर्थ टर्म ऑफ जीपी इज स्क्वायर ऑफ इट सेकेंड टर्म फर्स्ट टर्म इज गिवेन डिटरमाइन सेवेंथ टर्म and similarly fifth question is also there in which sequence is given of course they are gp and they are asking that which th term is 128 right which th term is 729 so term n formula can be calculate can be used and n value you can find out students i am skipping these questions fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth and tenth if at all any doubt is there in up to 10 questions you can ask you can discuss with me any students if uh, want to uh, want that we should discuss up to 10 gaurav sharma are you there listening me gaurav gaurav or anyone else uh, kisi ko bhi kuch doubt hai hmm okay Uh, I don't think uh, that there is doubt. Uh, question number eleventh containing summation sign. Uh, you people just see in your yes. Uh huh. Ayushi Verma. Eleventh will discuss. Okay, okay, got it. Clear. See. Okay. Ayushi Verma, are you listening me? Ayushi Verma, I am waiting for your response since many days. every time i call you but you, you, you there's no response from your side ayushi verma still i'm waiting for you ayushi verma no bhavya verma bhavya verma are you listening me no devanshi mishra you will respond question number 11th i want you to read question number 11th hmm hmm तो इसका मुझे क्या करना है मुझे क्या करना है इसका इवेल्युएट करना है इज इट ओके ओके आई होप स्टूडेंट्स यू नो द मीनिंग ऑफ समेशन नोटेशन दैट इफ यू एक्सपेंड इट द फर्स्ट यू विल गेट अ सीरीज यूल गेट अ सीरीज ऑफ टर्म्स राइट एंड फर्स्ट टर्म यूल गेट बाई पुटिंग के इक्वल टू वन टू एज इट इज because there is no k with 2 and 3 raised to the power 1 then plus you do and then increase the value of k by 1 means uh, k will become 2 now and put it there so you'll get 2 plus 3 raised to the power 2 and similarly plus sign and one more increment in k 2 plus 3 raised to the power 3 etc 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 and the last term you put the maximum value of k so 3 to the power 11 you'll get 2 plus 3 Power 11, and this you have to simplify. So, two into how much will become? Hmm? You can see that three to power one, three square, three cube, up to three to power eleven means eleven brackets are there. Eleven brackets, so eleven times two also will appear. So, I think two into eleven, and this. For this, we have a formula. What is the formula, students? This is a GP, isn't? This is a GP, and for GP, sum of n terms is given by a r raised to power n minus one upon r minus one. So let us apply. <coughs> so this will become a is three, r is also three. You know, three square upon three ratio. R is also three. n n is how much how many terms are there obviously 11 terms are there 
अपॉन आर माइनस वन सिंपल यू कैन मैच द आंसर थ्री टू एस्ट पार इलेवन मे बी अ बिग क्वांटिटी सो मे बी पॉसिबल दैट आंसर दे माइट हैव लेफ्ट इट हेयर इट सेल्फ जस्ट चेक इट एंड टेल मी इज दिस राइट yes uh let us yes deepak meena has raised hand deepak you want to say something <coughs> hmm hitesh kumar from c section will you read the next question 12th hitesh hitesh yes sir uh, samajh me aaya hitesh samajh me aa raha hai yes good yes sir good good 12th question please The sum of the first three terms of a GP is thirty-nine by ten. Okay. And their product is one. Okay. Find the common ratio and the terms. Okay. Uh, GP की बात हो रही है, so I should better I should assume the GP. So let us assume the GP. Let the GP is a. ए आर एंड ए आर स्क्वायर बिकॉज थ्री टर्म्स के बारे में ही बात हुई है ऑफकोर्स प्रोडक्ट इज गिवेन सो वन मोर वे इज देयर दैट यू कैन एज्यूम लाइक ए अपॉन आर ए एंड ए आर दिस ऑल्सो कैन बी अ वे मुझे उतना ही टाइम लगता है तो मेरा कोई खास इंटरेस्ट नहीं है दिस ऑल्सो कैन बी अ वे टू एज्यूम लेट दिस इज द जीपी बट मैं अभी यहाँ पे ये एज्यूम कर रहा हूँ सो सम गिवेन है तो लेट मी फ्रेम द इक्वेशन Their sum is thirty-nine upon ten, and their multiply is one. These two things are given. So let us solve these two equations, and this will become a cube r cube. Is it a cube into it is a cube r cube. Or a r whole cube is one, so a r is equal to one, which means r is equal to one upon a. So let it be one, let it be two. So putting in one, right? Let us substitute in one. So a as it is plus a r is one plus a and r can be replaced by one upon a and r is square. Equal to thirty nine upon ten. Now let us simplify it. A plus one plus one upon a equal to thirty nine upon ten, and this becomes a square plus a plus one equal to thirty nine upon ten. Hey now, students, help me in factorization. Uh, this becomes. 10 a square plus 10 a plus 10 equal to 39 a. So this becomes 10 a square minus 29 a plus 10 equal to zero. Factorize. What should be the factorization, students? Can you see? 25 plus 4 is 29. Correct. And ten into ten hundred, twenty-five into four is hundred. Correct, absolutely right. A minus twenty-five, A minus four. It is so. A equals to four or twenty-five. Both numbers acceptable. I think they are acceptable. So <coughs> R will become is this inverse of this. R is one upon A. So either R equals to one upon four or one upon twenty-five. Then G P is. Uh, a suppose first set this I take, then I'll get four, one, one upon four. Is it? A R square, four into one upon six. Yes. Or two answers will be there. Or if I begin with twenty-five, then A R one, then one upon two. Two answers are there. Check the answer, please. The numbers are G P instead of G P numbers are. 
either this answer or this answer. Simple. Uh, some one more from C section. I'll call to read the next question. Uh, Aman Khan or Ayush Goswami or Kartik Parma, any one of these three. Aman, Aman Khan, Ayush Goswami. Yes, sir. Ayush, next question, 13th. Please read. How many terms of GP? Three, three square, three cube are needed Ayush, to give a sum Ayush, of 120. Ayush, Ayush, one minute. Yes. Yes, in the book it is given. Hmm. How many terms of GP? One, 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 one minute, Ayush, one minute. She is telling some error is there. Kya uh, error many up is R is answer is not matching, you are saying. Okay, let us check the error. What is the error? Can someone tell me? A I got R is one upon A. Student, check my check the answer, please, my dear students. Check the answer, please, students. Huh? First three terms sum. Then I written correct only. What is the error? Can can someone pick the error? Where I made the error? Can someone tell me? Or please check the answer, students. Uh, I think I have written my factorization wrong. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Factorization is wrong. Factorization wrong in overconfidence ke chakkar mein. No problem. Eh? 10 a square minus 25 a minus 4 a plus 10 equal to 0. Kya common hai? 5. 5 a 2 a minus 5 minus 2 2 a minus 5 equal to 0, which means that 2 a minus 5 into 5 a minus 2. So here I get a equal to 5 by 2 or 2 by 5. So R is 1 upon A, R will be 2 by 5 or 5 by 2. So my terms will be 5 by 2, you know, put the value here. 1, 2 by 5 or the other set if I take 2 by 5, 1, 5 by 2. Now is it right, students? Huh? Yes, now thank you for correcting. Uh, Ayush, now you can read. So I'm happy with the people who are identifying and picking the mistakes and telling on the appropriate time. So we all can learn from this, including me, that there are many students who are so attentive, so particular, they'll catch. So our observation attitude is very important. We have a second test. We a second test. Attentiveness hai uska. So good. Yes, the next is uh, Ayush, will you read the next question? 13th. How many terms of GP? 3, hmm. 3 square, 3 cube, dot 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 are needed to give the sum of 120. Okay. I'm not uh, discussing this question because you are experienced people. You have done these kinds of questions. Right, students? Uh, Ayush, uh, can you read the next 14th? We'll discuss. The sum of first three terms of GP is 16. Okay. The sum of next three term of GP is 128. Okay. Determine the first term and the common ratio and the sum of n terms of the GP. Okay. One thing. Uh, first, I should assume the GP, right? Th then it will be best. Let the GP is as usual a a r a r square a r cube and etc and as it is given that sum of first three terms is 16 given that first three terms means a plus a r plus a r square is equal to 16 and also given that the sum of next three terms is 128 so what should be next three terms next three terms are these means term 4, 5th and 6th. Also given that AR square 
पर ए आर रेस्ट टू पावर थ्री प्लस ए आर टू पावर फोर प्लस ए आर टू पावर फाइव इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी एट ओके सो दीज टू थिंग्स आर गिवेन एंड दे आर आस्किंग दैट वॉट शुड बी द फर्स्ट टर्म वॉट शुड बी द कॉमन रेशियो एंड वॉट शुड बी एस एन सो टू वेरिएबल्स टू इक्वेशंस इजी टू सिंप्लीफाई इजी टू सॉल्व हाउ टू सॉल्व आई एम गोइंग टू टेक कॉमन let it be 1 let it be 2 so from 1 i'll take common and it will become a into 1 plus r plus r square equal to 16 let it be 3 equation number 3 and second one from second one what is the common available here a r raised to power 3 and 1 plus r plus r raised to power 5 means 3 maine common le liya 5 minus 3 2 will remain Equal to one twenty eight. Equation number four. Students, how to solve equation number three and four? Can it? Can someone tell me? Best, best, best way method. Divide them. Divide them. And if I divide three by four, I am going to do so. A one plus r plus r square whole upon a. R raised to power three, one plus R plus R square will get cancelled and equal to sixteen upon one two eight. Sixteen eight is a one twenty eight, is it? Hello. Uh, a will get also cancelled. R cube equal to eight. R cube equals to eight means R equals to two. I get my common ratio R. Then A. One plus two plus two square equals to sixteen. So a equal to sixteen upon four plus six. Four plus two six plus one seven. Correct, students. This is a. Then s n is students. Just check the answer. This. Two minus one is one. Yeah, na, the students. Uh, you people can check it. I hope it should be right. Yes, correct. Uh, students, uh, this was question number fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, and seventeenth. The first page questions. Uh, I am leaving for you people as homework. Uh, and the other questions also in between which i skipped and left for you uh, so all students are requested to complete up to first 17 question whether we discuss in this class or not thank you for attending this class uh, i'll feel happy if uh, you respond so i request you people to uh, when i'm asking by name you please respond be ready to respond thank you do not forget to register your attendance as a comment in google classroom thank you bye bye please leave your messages to me for all doubtful questions thank you bye